All praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wah Peace, blessings, and much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons and daughters as well, and the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. All right. We um, deal with a lot of, you know, different spirits being in this ministry. And one thing that we've noticed, most people, they don't have the understanding. Most people, when you tell them this, they don't come into it. And <clears throat> it can be really frustrating to someone who may not understand why. The Lord has set his men up to teach and to prophesy to a nation who is actually, you know, very stubborn hearted, very stubborn in mind. Okay. And because of that, the Lord is going to bring a lot of judgment, a whole lot of judgment. So let's start off with the book of Sirach, also known as the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 32 and verse 17. <clears throat> A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. So a stubborn man will not be reproved. People like that, you just have to get away from them. They don't have no fear in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And someone who doesn't have fear in the Lord. They're playing a very, very deadly game. All right. The Lord is going to bring a lot of wrath and a lot of death to this earth because he understands. He sees the majority of people are his enemies. And the Lord is a man of war. And as a man of war, it's only right that he takes down his enemies, which he will eventually. Okay. And it's just a part of prophecy, but the majority of Israelites at this particular time, they're enemies. All right? They're stubborn. They don't want to repent. They don't want to be reproved. They don't want to be corrected. Okay? A sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will. A man of counsel will be considerate. But a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear, even when of himself he hath done without counsel. And a lot of men, you know, they come into this ministry and they act as if they're really in it. But really, they don't even have no fear in the Lord. They're proud. They're arrogant. They're jealous over other brothers for whatever particular reason. And you try to correct them, you do videos, and maybe because of your status, or maybe because they haven't, uh, and when I say your status, maybe because you're not as high in rank as they are, maybe because they haven't met you in person, maybe because they don't see you as a man of the Lord for whatever particular reason, they'll find an excuse not to consider what you're saying, which you're saying things that are coming out of the Bible. So the counsel is of the Lord. All right. And if you're a man of counsel, what are you going to do? You're going to ponder on what's being said because you're going to know, OK, he's coming out the scriptures. Yep. That's what it says. OK, boom, it's right there. And you're going to consider it. But a man who doesn't fear the Lord, you can bring out these words to him. It's it's just error. OK. But that's OK, though. Let's go to. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, 
in verse 2. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. And imagine you, yourself, having children. You have your sons, or you have your sons and your daughters. You know, you've raised them up. You've been there for them every step of the way as much as possible. And then when they get to a particular age, they just start to rebel against you. They treat you like they never knew you. Okay? They disrespect you openly. All right? They go against everything that you stand for. But yet, they're, they're your sons and daughters. Well, that's how our people are treating the Lord. Okay? The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. Because our people's minds are elsewhere. Our people's minds are on other things. They are not focused on the words of Yahweh by Shemi Awashai. You go out in public, all you have to do is just look at the face that's on our people and you know for a fact your mind ain't even on the Lord. Your mind is elsewhere. Okay? Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. Why? Because they're not daunted with fear, I think the word was. All right? And seeing our people have no healthy fear and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai it causes them to rebel more and more. And because the Lord hasn't overthrew them, the Lord hasn't, um, you know, snatched their soul out their body, hasn't snatched their spirit away, they feel for whatever reason, hey, I can keep doing this. I can keep talking smack. <laughs> I can keep being disrespectful. All right. I can keep, you know, hanging out with Edomites. And all these other different heathen, they telling me I'm supposed to separate from them. I think they're nice. I think they're great people. <laughs> okay? There's no way that uh, the man should be ruling over his woman. You know, there, there's no way that Bible is real. And it's not written by the so-called white man. That's fine. You know, our people are just full of iniquity. No, they're, they're, they're messed up Ah sinful nation A people laden with iniquity A seed of evildoers Children that are corruptors They have forsaken the Lord They have provoked the Holy One of Israel Unto anger They are gone away backward And we're supposed to be going forward But no you want to go backwards Things have been flipped upside down Because of Esau Edom of course But guess what our people have overpassed the deeds of Esau Edom. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. But wounds and bruises and putrefying sores, they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate, your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage and a vineyard, as a lodge and a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. So that's how destroyed our people are. Our people have no soundness in it. Okay, our people spiritually are full of wounds, man. And we haven't been treated. That's why we need Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is that physician that is going to treat our wounds. Because you look at our nation, okay, speaking of the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, our people are messed up, okay? And we have not been delivered from our situation. And when you look at our homeland, we don't even live there. We have heathen that are... You know, basically um, dominating our land. Okay? And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage and a vineyard, as a lodge and a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Okay? And you look at a lot of our women, a lot of our women are just whores. They're heartless, man. Okay? And you know what a cucumber looked like. 
You know, a lot of these women, they, they keep cucumbers in their drawer somewhere, or under their bed somewhere. You know what I'm talking about. And any woman who's in this truth, okay, if, if you have any sex toys, all right, and you going behind your man's back, if you ask me, you know, that, that's adultery, all right, that's adultery. You're, you're only supposed to be getting penetrated by your husband. You shouldn't be having no sex toys. But anyway, so the, 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 the daughters of Israel, they're basically um, just women you just sleep with. And they sleep with multiple men. Just like you would as, as, as a, uh, at, a, at a cottage or a lodge. You know, you, you chilling. You, you lounging. You sleeping around, okay? So a lot of these Israelite women, they're only as good as being used to sleep with, okay? In a garden of cucumbers. You know, cucumbers are shaped like, like male rods, man. And these women go from rod to rod to rod, just sleeping with him, sleeping with him, sleeping with him, okay? Verse 9, except the Lord of hosts has left unto us a very small remnant, speaking of the elect, we should have been at Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. See, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, and everybody in Sodom and Gomorrah was overthrown, except for Lot, okay, and uh, his daughters. Now, when you look at such a uh, catastrophic event, such as, you know, what happened with Sodom and Gomorrah, why would you think in today's time the Lord would show mercy on America well he's not going to show mercy on America but he's going to show mercy on a remnant that are within America because all of America is going to be destroyed like Sodom and Gomorrah okay but that remnant okay is going to be delivered out of it but the rest of our people they are going to remain in their rebellious and evil ways okay and that's just what it is Let's close it with this. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and 14. For ye brethren became followers of the churches of the power which in Judea are in Mashiach Yahweh Shai. For we also have suffered like things to your own countrymen even as they have of the Jews who both killed the Lord Yahweh Shai and their own prophets and have persecuted us and they please not the power and are contrary to all men and that's the type of people that we are dealing with we're dealing with a people who constantly reject and kill the prophets they persecute the prophets okay they're they're contrary verse 16 Forbidding us to speak to the Gentiles that they might be saved, to fill up their sins always, for the wrath has come upon them to the uttermost. And that's what's going to happen because, see, our people have become enemies unto us. Our people are enemies unto the Lord. And that's why the scriptures also tell us how we're supposed to separate from this world. When you look at this world, this world is totally contrary to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. This world totally rejects the ways of the Lord. That's why the Lord has to bring judgment. The Lord's not going to keep, you know, striking our people. If that's not going to help, if that's not going to work, what do you think he's going to do? He's going to up his judgment until eventually he gets your attention. Okay, and right now, he's turning up the heat more and more. And he's going to keep on turning up the heat until you stubborn toed Israelites, okay, realize that dang. I've been getting uh, told this truth. I've been rejecting it this whole time. And the water's just been getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And he's been telling me to get out. And I just decided to stay in it until guess what? You became toad stew because of your stubbornness. A lot of you Israelites, you are going to be melted in fire because of your stubbornness okay you can rebel you can be contrary all you want you know you can try to prevent 
this truth from going out all you want, but you can't. So I'm going to give all thanks and praises unto our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. I'm going to give all thanks and praises unto our power, I should say, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wa Rekakwadash. Lord willing, this was simple and this was edifying. And I'm out. Shalom.